The Cedar Falls Historic Preservation Commission showed their second half of the third annual Architecture and History program this past week at the Cedar Falls Women's Club. This year, they put together a two-part program on the Cedar Falls Education System and the University of Northern Iowa. Daryl Anderson, a Cedar Falls architect, and Tom Connors, a historian, led the programs. During the first presentation, Connors gave a brief history over each Cedar Falls school, such as when it was built, by whom, and how the education in the building has changed over the years. During the second presentation this past week, Connors discussed the history behind the first buildings of the new Teachers College, now known as the University of Northern Iowa. The college's original building was built in 1869 to serve as one of Iowa's Civil War soldiers' orphans' home, and they moved the children there from rented quarters on Main Street. The impressive new orphanage was built on a hill over a mile south of town. The Civil War, however, had previously cut off the supply of soldiers' orphans uh, in 1865, and before very long, all the orphans began to age out of the system. In 1876, nine years after it opened, or is that right? Math is not my thing. Uh, seven years after it opened, the state soldiers' orphans' homes were consolidated at Davenport. That left this building empty, but fortunately, city fathers, led by Peter Melendi, wrangled the state's proposed teacher's college to fill it, and thereby set Cedar Falls on a path that even a dreamer like Melendi could hardly have imagined. This frequently renovated building continued to serve many academic purposes until it was destroyed by fire in 1965. There's surprisingly little trace of UNI's orphanage heritage to be found around campus today. In front of Lang Hall is a monument dedicated to Annie Wittenmeyer, who founded the state's orphanage. After Connor's history lesson, Anderson went over the architectural elements that made up the Cedar Falls school buildings. During the first presentation, he explained how the architecture of the Cedar Falls school buildings has changed from their original make. During the second presentation, Anderson discussed the make of the first buildings on the University of Northern Iowa's campus. Here he talks about the build of Lang Hall dating back to the year of 1902. As you can see, uh, Lang Hall is a four-story brick building with a limestone basement expression and limestone trim. Classical revival is a general term denoting roots in classical antiquity, the Renaissance, and the revivals, incorporating features from many sources, often used eclectically in the same building, as is the case here. The architect's stated intention was to design in this general classical revival style. Notable uh, features include the, obviously the dominant arched entry and at the balcony up above, uh, and ornate keystones, uh, scroll keystones in each case. Overall, those who gathered at the Women's Club during either of these presentations learned many insights and details behind the history and architecture of the schools of Cedar Falls and the University of Northern Iowa's campus. Reporting for Cedar Falls City News, I'm Bridget Reedy.